Guess who's in a hurry today? Yeah, there's a lot of things happening now. I have to unload some of the bales. Because not all of them is fermented yet. I believe seven of them still need some time. And I haven't got time. You see, in the, today there's a lot of things happening. I don't know really where to begin. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to hook up the hydraulics and uh, lower the ramps. Then we'll start unloading and I'll tell you all about what's happening today. Now I said I was going to tell you everything about what's happening, but I'm not the greatest at multitasking and now I'm going to try to lift all of these bales at the same time and it's going to be way too heavy for our tractor. I was hoping I could get him into our shed, but... So... Last time we spoke, I was talking about getting a small goat barn or pasture up on the little mound, the little hilly area there. I was also talking about mowing it and yeah, a lot of things. Well, the thing is I've gotten hold of some used uh, troughs and some fencing and yeah, a couple of things. So temporarily we're going to just set up an open pasture today. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is not going our way. How come these are more heavy? <laughs> we tilt it a little bit, we might manage. So, like I said, it's just temporary. We're gonna house, I guess, 10 or 15 goats. S some of them are fully grown and would start produce goat milk quite soon and I'm really excited about that and I hope like I said this is just the beginning it's our first animals oh dear dear but it's gonna be a quite light production now one more bale and then we're on our way to sell the remaining bales Let 
like that. Now, in the future we'll get a real barn. A large goat barn. It's just that we we haven't got the money for it right now. And I would like to start some production. I'll take care of that later. So, we'll hook up the trailer and we'll be on our way. Now if my calculations earlier was correct, the remaining bales are silage. We're hooked up and ready to roll. We also have some letters we need to get into storage. But there's going to be some changes to this area. And that's what got me excited and in a rush to get some money in. Now you see here, the other day I was, yeah, I had a little trip to town and uh, yeah, I met some really awesome people who had some really exciting ideas. They were coffee roasters and they've set up a roastery for coffee production right next to the farm shop, between the farm shop and uh, the sawmill. So we got talking and uh, yeah, I, I enjoy coffee. <laughs> and the passion they had for it, uh, yeah, they had me sold quite quickly. Now I would love to buy into that kind of production and produce our own coffee and yeah, making dark roast espresso. I'm a kind of old school that way. I, I like the dark roast when it comes to espresso and not the more modern lighter roasted. So, yeah, while we were talking and discussing coffee, I mentioned I had a small farm just up the road from them, and yeah, we we'll, would probably see each other now and then. And I also mentioned I had a little farm area, and I was producing lettuce in the greenhouse, and so they challenged me. They said, if we would start to produce coffee, they would roast it and we could have our own coffee brand. Here you see there, this is the, the roasted coffee, it's not the darkest roasts. I believe they were doing some Ethiopian, which should be really great with a lot of fruity tones and yeah. But anyways, I got so sold on that deal, so I said, okay, if I can manage to build a greenhouse and have coffee bushes in the greenhouse, I would love to be a part of it. So they'll buy our green coffee, roast it under our own brand, and distribute it and sell it. Mm. 
Now, I think that's awesome. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a pallet of liquid fertilizer because my research have shown if well if we're gonna grow our own coffee in a greenhouse liquid fertilizer is a must so I'll just load up an ICB of that and I'll see you back at the farm I guess So, I've just put the ICB there for now. We have to get the lettuce out of the sun and dust and yeah, gotta get it in to our cold storage before the bug set in and eats it up. I think afterwards we're gonna set up the fences and yeah, get ready for goats. And while we are managing that, the contractors will, s oh, will start on our new greenhouse. Now the plan is to put it here on our right side. I think that will be a good place for it. It's not going to be a large or a very large one. It's not a industrial sized. I mean we have no idea how this is going to work out. It's not an unusual way of producing coffee, but we'll give it a go. I think it's exciting. Hopefully, by the end of this month, We'll have lettuce production, coffee production, and goat milk production. <laughs> That's, yeah, some combination. We could at least make a, a goat milk latte. I'm not quite sure if I'm sold on that. Well, I will get the pallets into the cold storage and I'll see you back at the field where we're gonna yeah find the best area for our goat pasture. The lettuce is in storage and the contractors are 
setting up our new greenhouse as we speak. Now, I think for now we're gonna put up a goat pasture right here, just because it's flat and convenient. I mean, it's just some fencing and it's temporary. Yeah, because we're gonna need to fill it up with water, maintain water for them, um, also food. Hopefully they'll eat some of the meadow grass that's already here, but we have all the grass bales, so I'm not worried about that. And it's not that many cows, no cows, sorry, goats we're gonna get. But I'll put up the fences here and yeah, let's see when I'm done. Check it out. Well, it's kind of late in the day. I set up the fences. I just placed the troughs. They have no water, no food. But look at them. Look. We have baby goats! See, there are some... They are hiding in the grass. Look at them! Our first animals! Yeah, I guess they are hungry. We'll just get into our tractor. Load up our grass bale. Give them some water. But look at them! We have goats! Oh, man. So, first, load up a grass bale. And then we're gonna go and get... Or tanker and fill up some water. Oh, there's so many things happening now. Look at them come running! Oh, they want our grass. Now, as you can see, there's another greenhouse, some fencing. And I already got the bushes delivered. So... I already loaded that up with water and the fertilizer. Oh yeah, the water tower, it, it's a bit of a pain. But it's on our to-do list and drill for water. We're using the pond water for the, the wash uh, facilities. And the pond water may be toxic, but yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. So how much water do you think the goats need? Probably not that much. But anyways, we can just fill up the, the greenhouses. I had some issues getting 
yeah, the liquid fertilizer into the greenhouse tank. So actually I put it in the water tanker first. And I have run a lot of water through it afterwards when filling up the greenhouse, but yeah. I hope we're not giving our goats liquid fertilizer residue to drink. And that might be an issue. What do you think if we use the same? No, it's a water tanker. If we use it for goat milk as well, that shouldn't be a problem. But of course, mixing goat milk, water and liquid fertilizer, that would probably not be the best. No, that was not the best backing up. They have water, they have grass. Look at them! Look how cute! This really is a new era for us. Well, hopefully we're not going to be bothered by wolves. But I haven't seen any around our house, I just heard them howl, but... I think they'll stay away from our goats. Now, look at this. Here we have our coffee bushes. Well, they look like trees, but yeah. It's awesome. What do you think? I have no idea how this is going to turn out. If we're going to make anything of it, maybe the coffee will be horrible. Maybe we have to <laughs> use it in some kind of blend and... Uh, yeah. But hopefully we can find a good roast for it and make some awesome coffee. Oh, I must say, that's a little bit worrisome. Honestly, I don't think the wolves are a threat to our goats. I honestly don't think they'll come close to our farm. But I mean, if they're hungry enough, it's only natural to go for the easiest prey. And of course, our baby goats. Yeah. I'll think it, yeah. There's a lot of food in this forest. They don't have to come here. What do you think? There's a lot of things happening. Next episode, when we see you, when I see you next time, it's gonna be grass mowing once more. And then I was thinking about maybe not planting grass or not planting, but growing grass. Maybe we could produce other things. Maybe we could produce ingredients for other beverages, who knows? Not just coffee, but we're gonna need a combine and we can't afford a combine. We're gonna buy a new tractor as well. But we could perhaps lease one and yeah, with the coffee, the lettuce, the silage bales and hopefully goat milk. I think there's gonna be some income. So who knows? Well, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. And if you can come up with a good name for coffee, 
please tell me. Bye bye now.